Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about how I store my cards. Now, these are extremely cheap, these binders. I buy them in cases from my store. So, like, you can buy them in a case. They actually come in cases of six. The reason they get extremely cheap is very logical. Uh, essentially, and then I'll just show you some cards I'm putting in them. Essentially, after Khan to Tarkir rotates out, there is not a single person in your store who's going to want to buy this binder. So the store, any store, is left with a ton of these binders that they were trying to sell for, I think MSRP is $23.99. So they were left with all these binders they're trying to sell for $23.99 and they can't sell them. So you can make a deal on them. And a lot of times I can get them between $5 to $10 for this particular one because there's no female. I mean, it sounds ridiculous when I say this, but it's true. If there's a female on this cover, it will be worth, you know, like $10. They're trying to sell it to me for $10. If the Planeswalkers in this set are male, they are sell it to me for $5. So six of them cost, I think, with tax, like $38, $40. And they're just, they, they take 360 cards, and just like a regular Ultra Pro binder. And I just filled them up. And once they are all filled up, so I have six of them, one for each color and then one for multicolor. The only things I don't really put in these binders or put them in storage is lands because you can never really have enough lands. So I fill them up with cards that are semi-valuable and put them in storage. So this is the blue binder. I'll have one for white, black, green, and red, as well as multicolor. And once they get filled up, they get taken to storage and then... I kind of know, it's not, it's kind of strange because it's not exactly the set that they're in, but they're very close. They're like two sets before. Uh, essentially, I will store cards that rotated out, Conjure Tarkir, as well as Fate Reforged, and any of the relevant cards I feel in the current sets. I'll put them in the binders, and then I'll just put them in storage, and they sit there until one day they go up in price, hopefully. And I mean, that's not why I store, store them. I just enjoy having them and having collections and you know, just having like, who has like all this stuff? But it's just fun to collect, I guess. And they're not extremely valuable cards. They tend to be the mythics that just rotated out slash the cards that may have future value. Otherwise, I just put them in a cardboard box and bulk them out. But any cards that I feel I probably should keep a playset or two of uh, that have rotated out in Fate and Cons. They will fit here. So it actually is perfect timing. I was thinking that I put in a lot of other random EDH stuff too. So it's not all just what's been rotated out. But the large majority of it is Cons of Tarkir, which is nice because this binder is Cons of Tarkir. And I have that for Dragon Maze. I started doing that since Dragon Maze. Um, with the Rao Zurich binders, I, I realized, hey, you know, I can make a deal on them and you can probably make a deal with your locals too because they have to buy the newest binder. So who's the newest Planeswalker right now? Let's say it's uh, Jace. I think the newest one is Jace. So they need to buy the Jace ones from Motor Pro, but no one's going to buy the Sharkon ones because he's not a Planeswalker anymore that's being played or whatever being played. And that's essentially a really good way to do this. Um, it's very inexpensive in my opinion, and it definitely helps you sort out your collection. And you buy the same one when they rotate out, so you get a general sense of when you had the cards. Anyway, bye guys.